Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about some Eternal theories. I came up with some interesting theories after watching Eternals. In the movie it's kind of implied that around 8 billion people are needed for Celestial to be born and basically my theory is that since the other planets like the Kree planet they've had way more than 8 billion people and since the Aramish the judge probably sent Eternal eggs to pretty much every single planet I wonder if the Kree managed to actually fight off the Celestial or if other Eternals turned when the Celestial was trying to be born. And that'd be really interesting to see in the future because like when we have Captain Marvel 2 maybe we'll go back to the Kree planet and they'll actually have some celestial references and I think that'd be really interesting. Another theory that I had is that the Eternals are actually guaranteed to win in the battle against Icarus and the Celestial and this is because Kang the Conqueror was actually born on Earth in the future so basically if the Celestial was born then that means that Kang wouldn't be born so basically what would have to happen is then one of the multiverses Kang born and then he started the TV VA and he probably just wipes out every single universe where the celestial actually hatches because otherwise he'd never be born and never be alive. So basically the TVA probably prevents the Eternals from not winning. Those were just some theories that I had and I, I hope you enjoyed listening to them and please like and subscribe and goodbye.